Hey guys, in today's episode of Dr. Nora, I've been invited to have a chat to some budding medical students who are considering a career as a GP. Let's take a look inside and see how we get on. Okay, so with me guys, I've got Alex, who is the, actually the Vice President of the General Practice Student Network. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you, Dr. Nora. So just tell us a little bit about yourself for those who are watching today. Yeah, so, um, so I'm a medical student in Australia in the uh, sunny Gold Coast. Um, so I'm part of uh, Griffith University, um, great med school here, great supportive environment. Yep, and um, I'm privileged enough to be the vice president of the General Practice Student Network. So, awesome. And what sort of things do you do as the vice president of the General Practice Student Network? Yep, so um, the General Practice Student Network is sort of officially recognised by um, the College of General Practitioners. So we are like sort of the underlings and every med school in Australia has a branch. So together our mission is to, I guess, breathe new life into general practice um, and sort of espouse for, um, for it not just being a second choice or a backup, you know, really showing um, the continuity of care as you've presented before and as well as any subspecialties if you choose to go that way. So that was what tonight was about. And of course, Dr. Nora has a few subspecialties. I certainly do. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. Yep. You just tell us a bit about yourself. So you're a medical student at the moment. Um, how are you finding medicine? Um, it is challenging balancing sort of everything. Um, obviously, medicine has a lot of content that you need to know, and I find it's important to sort of apply all the content that you know so it sticks instead of just rote learning facts. That's just personally what worked for me. Um, and also, so I moved away from my family who's in Sydney. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I did apply to come here, so I got in. That was a good experience. But it does mean I have to juggle side jobs and as a med student, so all the work we do is not paid. So I'm sure like a lot of med students will go That's through that. That's pretty part. sure. I remember the student loan. It was a big, big loan. <laughs> <laughs> and so what made you want to be a doctor? Um, that's a good question. Um, um, so sort of, I've always been interested in healthcare. Um, sort of, I remember when I was a kid, I used to pretend to be sick during swimming lessons so I could read anatomy books. So the, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the motivation for you. Well done. <laughs> so the, um, the interest was, I guess, ingrained in there, but as I grew older, I really like how I gravitated towards medicine as opposed to other aspects of health because there's really a, it's as much art as there is science. So I feel like you have to be a very good person with good morals and genuinely mm -hmm. care for your patients because you're in that position of privilege mm -hmm. and you have to communicate, you know, what your findings and everything in a way that's, you know, culturally appropriate and sensitive, um, empowering your patients as well. Maybe. while also delving really, really deep into the hardcore science. So it makes you a very well-rounded yeah, person. Absolutely. And what would be your advice for anybody who's thinking about a career in medicine or how do they get onto it? What, 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 do, what would you say to them? Um, so it is pretty competitive um, because like anywhere, men would be pretty competitive. But I think if you have a genuine interest and your sort of interests are in the right places, um, you will get in eventually and it is so rewarding and it's the best thing that you know i could have done so i'm awesome. glad i stuck with that and speaking of best things what is the one best thing that you've encountered as a medical student so far um i expected it to be a lot of hardcore studying and everything but then you know i've had no experience running a club and everything but here I am you know talking to Dr. Nora featuring on a youtube channel yeah <laughs> i would not have you know, thought this is what would have happened, um, you know, a few years ago. So um, really, you just get a lot of opportunities. You meet a lot of great people and the studying is really just such a small part of it. For yeah. sure. Okay, so you said the best. What is the worst thing about medical school, Alex? Um, if there are any. <laughs> just a small one. I feel like um, you kind of have to move around in your training. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like people don't understand how the training works. So when you're done um, medical school, you sort of train to be a specialist. And in that sort of process, a lot of the time you have to move to different places and it's mandatory and the pay isn't really that great. So you have to juggle a lot of things. So you need a supportive partner and I guess an understanding family. Yeah. 
Very good. Thanks a lot, Alex. Any, any last tips you can say to anybody who's watching there who might be thinking about medicine or who is actually studying medicine at the moment? I feel like if you want to get into medicine, just go for it and, and, and try. And if you have the right motivation, you will get in. And I guess if you're a med student, um, keep going. Yeah, absolutely. We'll all get through it. Yeah, we'll all pass. You definitely will, guys. Absolutely. Thanks so much, Alex, for being on this show. And thanks Thank for setting so up this much. awesome evening as well. Very no informative. Worries. Well done. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Dream come true. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. So I hope you guys have found that useful and I'll see you on the next one. Take care and stay healthy.